Today I'm doing a demonstration of how to receive and transmit OFDM data with the GNU Radio Companion on using a Blade RF 2.0 Micro XA5. And so the first thing you need to do is you need to go get the uh, the input file for the uh, GNU Radio, and that's out here on the out here on the web and you can see it's here on HTTPS GlitHub right plane slash RF space and so the file that you want is this uh, OFDM loopback 5.0 so you click on that and it brings it up on the screen and then you hold down the option key and hit the raw button and that downloads it to your computer. And so you can take it out of the download file and put it on the desktop. And you, you can see it's appended a text to the name and so you need to get rid of the text in the name. And then you can start up GNU Radio Companion. And uh, open up the file. So we'll open up the uh, file that I just downloaded on the desktop. Uh, here it is, ODM loopback 5, open. And so this has everything needed to, to, to uh, transmit and receive the OFDM information. So here at the top, it's, it, it creates a, uh, a um, <clears throat> sawtooth wave and passes it to the transmitter and the transmitter here it uh, reduces the output of the OFDM transmitter by a factor of 20 and then feeds it into the Osmo sync which has the uh, blade as the transmitter and over here on the receiving end the receiver passes it to the ODM receiver which then uh, shows the data and uh, it also uh, has, a, has a couple of uh, instrumentation options and so we'll run the program and uh, here, here's the the uh, data input from the ODFM transmitter, ODM transmitter to the actual blade transmitter, and here's what's received, and here's the data, the sawtooth data that's been transmitted and received, and if we go down a little further, here's the the spectrum that it's actually using, and so that. That's an example of uh, receiving and transmitting OFM data using the GNU companion. And it actually took quite a while to get all the parameters adjusted correctly on this uh, so that it would actually work. It was transmitting garbled data for several days before this actually worked. And so that's the reason I decided to uh, give this demonstration to save other people the grief of having to figure out all these parameters themselves.